Today, I am going to show you a step-by-step -step process which will help you get your first job in UX design. Hello, my name is Bikash and I have been designing experiences for last 10 years and have worked for companies such as McKinsey, Citigroup, NGO. The process is a proven process as hundreds of my mentees have used it to get their first job in UX design. By the end of this video, you'll get a clear, simple and proven process which will help you get your first job in UX design. So let's get started with the overview of the process. The process is broadly divided into two parts. Part one is learn, part two is apply. Part one, learn is further divided into four steps. Step one, learn the foundational concept of UX design. Step two, find your aspiration. Step three, master the skills required to achieve your aspiration. Step four, learn the tools and techniques. Part two, which is apply again, is divided into four steps. Step one, create your portfolio and resume. Step two, apply for jobs which aligns your aspirations. Step three, prepare for an interview. And step four, cracking the interview. Let's understand each of these steps in detail. Step one, learning the foundational concept of UX design. The goal in this step is to learn the foundation on which UX design stands on. Like while we start learning mathematics, we start with its basic concepts such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, etc. Right? In the same manner, we have to learn the basic concept of UX design such as what is UX design, what is UI design, what is information architecture, what is user research, what is accessibility, etc. And if you are in this step of your learning journey and wants to understand or learn the basic concept of UX design. Here is my complete playlist on the basics of UX design. Step two, find your aspiration. Once you understand the basic concept of UX design, it's time to find what you love the most in UX design and what you aspire to become a UI designer, an interaction designer, accessibility expert, usability expert, etc. I love the visual aspects of design and back then my aspiration was to become a UI designer. This step is very important because this is where most of the aspiring UX designer get lost in. See, it's impossible to learn every components of UX design in detail in just one or two years. Look at me, I'm still learning even after 10 years in a job. So therefore, you must choose what you love the most in UX design and proceed from there. I will also show you in the later part of the video how this finding your aspiration will help you get your first job in UX design. Step three, mastering the skills required to achieve your aspiration. Now that you understand the basic concept of UX design and have found your aspiration, it's time to learn the skills required to achieve your aspirations. Not just have a 30,000 feet view of it. Instead, you should learn and master the skills required. Such as, if you aspire to become a UI designer, master the skills of color psychology, typeface, grid system, etc. And if you aspire to become a researcher, master the skills of conducting interview, designing surveys, etc. However, mind it, I'm not talking about tools yet tools comes last in the learning process. You will need to first learn the foundational concept of everything you're going to do in the tools. If your aspiration is to become a UI designer, here is my complete playlist on UI design. Step four, learn the tools and technique. Now comes the tools. One mistake I see every aspirant UI designer does is they jump into the tool first. They learn the tool first. But remember, tools are dumb. And if you don't know the concept and the philosophy behind every steps you do in the tool, your design will never be able to shine. Therefore, tools comes last in the process. If you aspire to become a UI designer, you know the tool to learn, right? Figma, the most famous one. If you aspire to become a researcher, learn the tools such as form builder, card shorting tools, etc. Again, remember, don't just learn it, master them. Remember this, practice makes a man or woman perfect. The more you practice with the tool, the better you will become with it. 
So with that, we end the first part of the process. Let's start with the second part of the process, which is apply. Step one in this part is to create your portfolio and resume. The one and only way through which you can get into UX design is via your portfolio. Every company and every job you apply for will ask for a resume and a portfolio. One mistake I see every aspirant does is they only focus on the portfolio and neglect the resume. Both of this portfolio and resume are important and you should focus on both of them. Both of them should clearly showcase your skills. Now comes the major question. What skills you will be showcasing in your portfolio and resume? Well, the answer is your aspiration. Your portfolio, resume and your aspiration has to match. If you aspire to become a UI designer and your portfolio and resume only talks about research, it's a sure shot rejection. This is one of the primary reason why lots of applications gets rejected. So therefore, if you aspire to become a UI designer, your portfolio and resume should showcase your UI skills. And if you are a researcher, showcase your research skills. Step two, apply jobs which aligns with your aspiration. Now comes the most important part of the journey, finding the job. Once your portfolio and resume is ready, you will be tempted to apply to all the jobs available in the industry. This is where most of the aspirants does a mistake. I have seen aspirants blindly applying for a jobs without even reading the job description. A company was looking for a researcher, an aspirant with UI design aspiration has also applied for it. A sure shot rejection, either in the initial stage or at the later stage of the interview because the job description and aspirations are not matching. If you are doing this, you are wasting yours and the company's time and efforts. Therefore, it is highly, highly important that you only apply jobs which aligns with your aspiration. A company hiring for a UI designer will judge the candidate's UI skills rather than research skills. Therefore, the candidate with UI design aspiration will have better chance of cracking the interview. This very point is the most important part of the process, which starts with finding your aspiration. Step three, prepare for interview. Now that you have applied for the jobs which aligns with your aspiration, there are high chances that you will start receiving invites for interview. Interview is one of the most common and important method or process used by hiring managers to validate your skills and aspirations. Apart from validating your skills, hiring managers also want to know if you have done some homework before coming to the interview. So therefore, it is important that you prepare yourself for the interview. Your preparation should include one, research about the company and two, prepare for the common UX interview questions. Step four, cracking the interview. If you have done the preparation well, you already have cracked the interview by 50% and the rest 50% is all about how you handle the interview. Here are some tips which will help you handle the interview better. Tip one, stay calm and confident. There is no reason for you to get nervous because you have done your preparation. You know the company well, you know their products because you have done the research about the company, right? Tip two, it is okay to take time to answer the questions. Five to 10 seconds, to compose the answer is practically fine. Tip three, put a smile on your face. Tip four, if you don't know the answer, please don't make up an answer. Simply say, sorry, I don't know the answer. Tip number five, ask a question. If something is not clear or confusing, don't hesitate to question the interviewer. All right, so that was the last step of the process. I hope this process will help you get your first job in UX design. All the best. If you have found this video helpful, do help me by subscribing to this channel. If you have any question with regard to the process, please put that in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them. See you next time.